Maybe you've seen a play about the homeless before, but have you ever seen a play about the homeless performed by the homeless? Well, that's exactly what a new show is all about. Uh, it's put on by the Back to Basics Church in Landover. WUSA 9's Evan Koslov has the story on the play called Crying from the Streets. Please, Lord. <laughs> Please, Lord. Get you an Oscar. Yeah. They have a, a story to tell. <laughs> this is some good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that? Well, this scene is about Irvin and I living on the streets. And we're trying to get drugs into it. Well, that's, that's what we do. That's why we own the streets. I've got sunshine that's that's David on a cloudy day. Hey, hey, up, fellas. All right. I was a drunk and so forth. And alcohol is, took me to the lowest point of my life. Well, I guess you say what? Can make me feel this way. Crack okay. Oh, man. You're gonna start from the back, all right, and just remember to keep your volume up. This was our way to help them to tell the story and to also encourage others who are in that situation that they too uh, can come out. What part of the Bible are you reading, man? Right? I'm reading. We're reading about the time that. Uh, 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 that, that Jesus will. Jesus will. Are you bifocal? Why you say that? Because you're reading the book upside down. In the play, you know, we, we're not just acting. Uh, we're portraying our former lives on the streets. You mean to tell me you want to smoke crack? And don't you know them boys coming back at you, man? You know I get us a hit any time, man. See, you know see, this, man. See, see, Irvin. Let me down, brother. Man, Dad, no, you, you. you know what, Irvin? You know what? Check this out. I'm going to give you a piece. Yeah. So this might be your last piece, man. In fact, when Irvin first came into church, he had a skull bandana, skull necklace, a skull belt buckle. <laughs> the brother was frightening. <laughs> <laughs> man, what's wrong with you? Man, they shooting at me, man. They, they shooting at me. Get a fifth street boy. I had a great job. Great job. They were sending me all around the country, man. And uh, I stole off that job, a job I love. And they fired me. So, but I couldn't stop smoking crack. See, crack could put you in a situation where you don't, <laughs> all this other stuff doesn't matter to you. So, I was a diabetic and I was using insulin. But when you're on drugs, man, you ain't thinking about no medicine. If I told you what I really need. That's why we do the play. We do the play so they can see us now because if they are where we were, you can get out of this stuff if you want to. It is a way to raise or heighten the awareness of homelessness uh, from a closer up perspective. Can I say it again? I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. They are our family and uh, they have a story to tell, and I believe that the world needs to hear it. One more time. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Cheers they, to Evan Kossoff. They can that piece sing. Together. So, I mean, just acting, singing the, is amazing. The harmony was hysterical. The, oh. the, uh, the <laughs> what makes me feel this way? way. It says crack. Yeah, well, it can okay. make me feel this way. It was You know, was this congregation is actually made up of nearly all homeless. Yeah, 95% of the church. The founder said he did this because he felt homeless often fell through the cracks of the bigger churches. There wasn't enough outreach. And look at how... Well, God bless that founder there know, because he I has know. put together uh, quite a team there. And let me tell you, it was so cool to be able to see how some of these churches are getting now involved in some of this and trying to bring some of that faith back into yeah. some of these guys, giving them some hope. And it also shows that you can do it. You can yeah. get rid of the grips of crack cocaine. Just a That's great, right. great story there. Yeah. Okay, let's talk weather now.